All right, we will just give it a second to let everyone come in. Give it one minute and then we will get started. Okay, um, so welcome to today's webinar. Uh, just a reminder, if you have any uh, questions, you can put them in the Q&A. By now, you're probably pretty familiar with Zoom, but just in case you do have the opportunity to ask questions, be sure to go to oacac.org to sign up to more sessions like this. Um, we are recording, so you may be watching this as a recording. Hello, thanks for joining. Um, and that will be available after the fact at oacac.org. Watch it as many times as you want. And just a reminder that your camera and microphone are off, so you, we can't see you, so feel free to eat a snack while you watch this. Uh, take it away. Awesome. Thank you so much. So my name is Katie. I am an admissions counselor here at St. Bonaventure, and we've also got Anna Brady joining us. She's a new admissions counselor with us, and she will be working with a lot of students in Ohio. So she's here hanging out, listening to our presentation, and getting to know St. Bonaventure, just like you all are. So with that, I will share my screen and get started on the presentation. So a little bit about who we are. Um, to start, we have an aerial view of campus. St. Bonaventure is located in Western New York. We are about an hour and 15 minutes south of Buffalo um, and not too far from the Pennsylvania state line. Like I mentioned, this is a shot of campus here. It's the aerial view. We sit on about 500 acres of land. And while that's a lot of green space, the main hub of campus is pretty close together. So should you guys have an early class at 8 a.m. or have to make a trek through the snow, um, just know that really to get anywhere on campus, it maybe takes about five to seven minutes, which is really nice. Um, and then surrounding us, which you can't see here, is the beautiful Allegheny Mountains. So there's lots of nature and lots of stuff to do outdoors here at St. Bonaventure. Oops. So who we are, um, St. Bonaventure is an incredible community of people. And I promise I'm not just saying we are some of the best. Um, at Bonaventure, we nurture compassion by sharing unconditional love with each other. We offer a transformative education and seek wisdom that way. So here at St. Bonaventure, you're going to get not only the practical and marketable skills that you'll need to get the career that you want, but you're also going to receive tons of tools that are going to help you guys become better people. So you really leave a lasting impact where, wherever you go. And then of course we build integrity here. So some quick fast facts. We've got about 2000 students uh, in our undergrad programs and around 400 in our graduate program. So it's a small school. The student to faculty ratio is 12 to one. You're going to get that one-on-one -on -one attention that you might need from faculty. They're going to know who you are. They're going to know your learning style. So should you need help, you'll be able to get that. Uh, we have 50 majors and 46 minors, which I'll show you in just a moment. And some, some great stats here, 97% of our graduates are employed or enrolled in graduate school within six months of graduating St. Bonaventure. And what that means is you guys are going to be pretty much guaranteed success once you leave here, whether it's in a career or in your grad school of choice, you've got a plan once you're done with college. And our graduation rates are 20% higher than the national average. So again, it just goes to show you that our graduates here um, are successful. A little bit about our history. We were founded in 1858 and we are the nation's first Franciscan university. I think our first class graduated in around 1860 with about 15 students. And obviously we've grown since then, but um, I won't stay too long in history. I know it might not be everyone's favorite subject. So what is Franciscan? St. Bonaventure is a private school and we are a Franciscan school. Franciscans are just like a branch of the Catholic religion. And what it means to be Franciscan is you, we, we like to give to God through service. So we really encourage our students here to get involved with community service and volunteering, whether it's in our community at, on campus, surrounding us, wherever you guys are from, if it's back in Ohio, um, we just really encourage our students to give back as much as possible. 
Now, while we are a private school, keep in mind only 50% of our students are actually Catholic. So um, if you guys don't wanna get involved in, in the religious side of things, you certainly do not have to. It is not forced upon our students. You can get as involved as you want. There is mass offered during the week and of course on the weekends. And then we have university ministries that welcome students of all different faith backgrounds should you guys want to get involved with university ministries. So let's talk a little bit about value. I know um, when I was a senior, I might have thought value was just cost, but it's actually so much more than that. Value um, is not only you know an affordable price, of course, but it is all the experiences that you get while you're here in college. And at St. Bonaventure, we really try to offer the best education and experiences for our students. So we've been ranked number two best value in New York State, number three best value in the North, and we were ranked 19th out of 179 best regional universities in the North. And then we we're also a great college for veterans. Um, and like I said, 97% of our students are either in a job or in grad school. That's a great stat. 90% of our students would choose St. Bonaventure again. And you're also going to be a part of an incredible alumni network that will little, literally bend over backwards for you guys. Um, our alumni here are some of the most, most passionate people I have ever met. And they truly do all that they can to help our current Bonnies get those jobs that they want or internships, job shadow, come to campus and share their experiences. So you're getting not only a great education, but some great experiences here that make the value of the school worth it. On the screen, you will see the lovely list of our academic programs. I will not read these all off to you guys. You can find the list on our website should you choose to dive further into this. But we also, I want to mention, have some combined degree programs or pre-med programs listed on the side there. I'll talk a little bit about those on the next slide, but that's something that um, a lot of our students are interested in. You can find it, like I said, on the website. So to start, I'm gonna go over our School of Arts and Sciences. This is one of our largest and most diverse schools here on campus. There's 16 different departments and this houses our general education curriculum and our honors program. We like to highlight some new and interesting majors on this slide. To start, there's criminology that's gotten pretty popular here on campus. That's a great program if you're interested in law enforcement or government, and you'll study the anatomy of crimes, the causes, the consequences, the costs. Uh, we've got cybersecurity. That's also growing in popularity. Our students are going to learn how to detect and investigate and prevent any technology-related crimes, and this program's closely aligned with our um, computer science program. So. Uh, those two kind of play hand in hand. You're going to take courses in a little bit of both if you're interested in cybersecurity. And we also offer a master's program in cybersecurity as well. I like to mention behavioral neuroscience. That's a great program if you're interested in psychology and the science and biology of how our brain and behaviors work together. And then I did mention pre-med. So pre-med is also called at St. Bonaventure FHCP or Franciscan Healthcare Programs. And within these pre-med programs, we have got an MD program, we have got a DO program, there's dentistry, physical therapy, and also pharmacy. So if you guys are interested in continuing your education and getting involved in any of those careers, you can certainly start here and check out the schools we've got agreements with to jump into those schools and continue your education later on. There are certain deadlines for those programs, so um, you're going to want to check the website and make sure that you're following those application requirements as you're applying to St. Bonaventure. Lastly, there is MAP, which also stands for Major Adventures Program, and this is for those students who are undecided. And this is one area that really hits close to home for me. When I was a college student, I changed my major four times, and I know personally I felt a lot of pressure to decide what I was to major in my senior year of high school. So um, know that it's okay to be undecided. Choosing what you wanna do for the rest of your life is a pretty big deal. So it's okay not to rush into anything. And if you guys do come into school undecided at St. Bonaventure, I mentioned we have this major adventures program. And within this program, you guys get to get a little bit of extra help in figuring out what it is you wanna do through career counseling, you're going to get an advisor who works specifically with our undecided students who's, um, you know, had some excellence in helping with those with those issues. And then you also get to work closely with our Career and Professional Readiness Center, and they will offer opportunities for job shadowing, um, some different type of surveys to just narrow down options to figure out what it is you truly have a passion for um, 
and help you figure out what it is you can major in. So just know, like I said, it's, it's okay to be undecided. Uh, take the time to explore and figure out exactly what you wanna do if you are unsure of what that is your senior year. At St. Bonaventure, you don't have to declare a major until you are a sophomore. So you do, you do have a couple semesters to explore. Next is our School of Health Professions. This is pretty new here at St. Bonaventure. It was created in 2016 and it builds upon our existing science curriculum. Sciences are huge here at St. Bonaventure. It's one of our most popular majors. And there is health science, public health. We have a RN to BSN in nursing. So if you are interested in nursing, that's an option. We are also getting a physician's assistant studies program this spring and an occupational therapy program in the fall. So if you guys are interested in those, you can get your undergrad. I think a lot of students are doing an undergrad in health science and then applying to our PA program upon the completion of their four years um, as a health science major. We also have a brand new space for these students. It is in Francis Hall and it is recently renovated. So our students are going to get state-of-the-art equipment um, and a, like I said, a brand new space for you guys to work and learn in. Next is our School of Business. This is one of our other popular programs here. It, uh, it has the AACSB accreditation. Only 5% of business, girl, oh my goodness, business schools worldwide have this accreditation. So we've earned our spot as one of the top business schools in the world. Um, we have six majors and nine minors within this school. There is also an accounting BBA and MBA program that you guys can choose to enroll in. Um, this is located in our Swan Business Center. This is a relatively new building on campus and it was built 100% on alumni donations, which again goes to show how much our alum like to give back. But you'll see here a little picture of the classrooms. They are modeled after Fortune 500 companies. So our students are familiar working in the space that they're hopefully gonna have a career in. There are lots of hands-on experiences too, in addition to internships. A couple of the more popular clubs our students get involved in is SIM, which is Students and Money Management. And our students get to manage a real investment portfolio and work on the stock, stock market. There is VITA, which is Volunteer Income Tax Assistance, another great option for finance students. You get to help our local community do their taxes. And then we've also got Enactus. I believe that is a club that travels. You guys get to teach economics in the Bahamas and just offers other business opportunities to grow while you're here. And I, I do wanna to mention too, a lot of students are interested in opening their own business these days. So we do have an entrepreneurship minor that is pretty popular and it'll help you create that business plan if you're interested in opening your own business. Next is our Jan Dooley School of Communication. This is one of my favorite schools because I have my degree in communication. Within this school, there are six majors. You'll see them on the screen, broadcast journalism, journalism, media studies, strategic communication, sports media, and video production. We have got some pretty great alumni coming from this school that I like to highlight. We've got those six Pulitzer Prize winners, which you'll see on the screen. And we've also got, for those interested in um, working in sports, we have got about, I wanna say six or seven alumni working at ESPN and they are also willing to give back to our students. Um, there is a requirement of 400 plus hours of internship experience. So that's great. Again, more hands-on experience for you guys while you're here. Um, some things you can get involved in on campus include broadcasting our sport games on ESPN+. Plus. There is the campus newspaper, which is the Bonaventure. There's SBU TV. There is The Buzz, which is our college radio station that's consistently ranked as one of the top five college radio stations in the nation. There is opportunities for our students. They traveled this past February, I believe, to the Super Bowl and got to work on Media Row. So it is a great program with lots happening, lots of alumni willing, again, to give back. Um, and I will say too, I just started the graduate program for integrated marketing and communications, and it has been a great experience. I am only on my second class and I already have a business that I'm working with to create a marketing plan. So it's a, it's a lot of fun. I, I really recommend our communications program for anyone interested in the journalism or sports media field. Lastly, there's our School of Education. Uh, here, there are eight undergraduate programs that range from early childhood education, childhood education, adolescent education, inclusive, which is also special education, physical education, sports studies, 
And within our education program, we require our students to have a thousand hours in practicum sessions, meaning you guys are going to be in the classroom beginning your freshman year. So by the time you enter into student teaching your senior year, you're going to be more than comfortable with what's going on in the classroom and how to manage a room full of students. We have also been ranked as one of the top 25 innovative teacher education programs. So we really encourage you know, learning different technologies while you're here. So you are again, familiar with what's going on and all the updates that in technology that's used within the side of the classroom. Next, I'm gonna talk a little bit about the CPRC. I mentioned this earlier when talking about undecided students, but this is our Career and Professional Readiness Center, a great resource on campus for our students to get help, whether it comes to preparing for your career or internship. Um, you can see on the screen, there's a couple things that we do within the Career and Professional Readiness Center, and that includes helping students learn about networking. We do mock interviews. You can work on your personal brand. There is resume help and cover letter writing help. There is essay help if you need help writing your essay for graduate school. So there's lots of great resources to help you prepare to be a professional once you're finished up here at St. Bonaventure. On the screen, you will see a couple other programs I wanna highlight. There's the EDGE certificate, and this is an extra certificate and program that you guys can participate in. It gives you a little bit more in-depth information about becoming a professional. They'll do some etiquette dinners, which is really fun. Yes, there are certain ways to eat spaghetti and rip up rolls and cut your steak. So you learn those little um, tips and tricks within the EDGE program. And then we also have a service within St. Bonaventure called Handshake. And I don't know if anyone out there is familiar with LinkedIn, but Handshake is a great resource for our students to connect with alumni outside of St. Bonaventure that are hiring. So it's, it's like LinkedIn, but for Bonaventure students, if that makes any sense for those of you who are familiar with um, LinkedIn. Um, I think with that, I'm gonna move on to the next slide. A little bit about student life. We want you to enjoy your time here at St. Bonaventure. Yes, academics are important, but so are the things that you choose to get involved in. And if there's one piece of advice I can offer students, it is to get involved in at least one club. I will admit again, a little personal story. I was probably not the ideal college student and I didn't take that advice from all the orientation leaders that I, I met during my freshman orientation. Um, it really helps students become independent. You get to learn a lot about yourself, what you like to do even. So I highly recommend getting involved while you are in college. 80% of our students here at St. Bonaventure are involved in some sort of intramural sport, club sport, or any you know, organization on campus. There's over 75 options for you guys to choose from. And at the beginning of every semester, so the beginning of the fall semester and the spring semester, you guys are given a club and organization fair where you can walk around, explore, see what there is to get involved in and sign up for what interests you the most. Um, one thing I like to highlight, obviously intramural sports are great if you want to compete against your friends here on campus, but there's also club sports. That's a great option for students who still want to play sports at that competitive level, but just not, you know, at a division one level where a lot more time and um, commitment is required. Club sports allow you to compete against other colleges and universities, but at a much more laid back, laid back way, if that makes sense. Um, so that's a great option for students who want to compete still. I also want to mention that we've got study abroad opportunities, whether you want to go abroad for an entire semester for a couple weeks in the summertime or do some mission trips in the wintertime, lots of options to travel here on campus. There are clubs and organizations that are, you know, major based. So based on what you want to study, there are clubs and organizations that you can get involved in for hobbies, whether it's art or video gaming. So lots to do on campus. I also want to mention our first year experience. This is great for those students who find it tough to transition from high school to college. And that's why we have these services. To start, there's SBU 101. This is a two credit course that teaches students effective learning strategies, the different resources on campus that you can utilize, um, and different lingo used on campus, best times to eat, best places to eat, what's the good food around. So that's a great course for our freshman students. We've also got peer coaching. So you're paired up with an upperclassman and they're just kind of your mentor throughout your freshman year. And all these resources and fun things to do on campus lead us to our great retention rate of 84%. So our students are coming to St. Bonaventure and they want to stay here. Next, I'm gonna highlight a little bit more about service. I mentioned this already, but service is a core Franciscan value and a huge part of the St. Bonaventure tradition. 
On the screen are some of our more popular service clubs that our students get involved in. I'm going to start with Bona Buddies. That's a, that's a really popular one, especially for education majors. That's similar to a big brother, big sister program where we've got elementary age students coming to campus. You hang out with them, you work with your little Bona Buddy on different crafts or projects, show them around campus, take them to sporting events, do things within the community. So that's a great service club our students like to participate in. There's also Bonner Responds. This is the oldest college relief organization in the nation and this started around Hurricane Katrina. So our students will oftentimes travel to where natural disasters have hit and help with those relief efforts. They've gone to Texas, they've gone to the Bahamas, um, they've gone to Florida and they'll even do things locally and simple like adding a handicap ramp onto a home that needs it. There is MERT. This is great for those students interested in health professions. It is emergent, uh, medical emergency response team. And so they are oftentimes the people that's called first when there is an accident on campus. If someone falls in our fitness center and hurts their arm or slips on the sidewalk, um, they're, they're the ones that we reach out to first. They are an on-campus EMT service. And then they there, they, once they get to the scene, can determine whether or not they can fix it or have to call an ambulance or take someone to a hospital if need be. I mentioned Vita, and then there's the Warming House. I love the Warming House. That is the oldest student-run soup kitchen in the nation here at Bonaventure. So in the town of Olean, which is nearby, our students can go and prepare meals for the local community and for those in need. And then after preparing the meal, we like to serve it to them and sit out there and talk and just give them company. So uh, it's, a, it's a great thing to do. A lot of friends groups will do it, teams will do it for, uh, for team building activities. So just experiences that give you the warm fuzzies here. A little bit about residence life. It is required to live on campus your freshman year, sophomore year, and junior year. All first year students have the option to live in the four uh, residence halls listed on the screen. There's Robinson and Falconio, which are the main two. And then there's Laughlin Hall and Doyle Hall. All rooms have a bed, a desk, chair, dresser, closet space. And then they also have internet, of course. You guys can, if you're interested in checking out pictures, we've got them on our virtual tour, which is on our website. So feel free to check out what photos we've got available for you guys. We also have free laundry. This is a great perk, something you might not think about. I had to pay quarters where I went to school, so I would get quarters in my stocking for Christmas. That was always so depressing. So to have a school offer free laundry is awesome. And then we've also got campus safety and security here 24 seven, very safe area. We've got the blue light system that our students can utilize. There's email and text alerts that you and families can sign up for. So um, just know that you're in a great area with lots of, lots of people around to keep you safe. Athletics. St. Bonaventure is a Division I athletic school. We are a part of the Atlantic 10 Conference. We are actually one of the three smallest Division I schools in our country. So here at Bonaventure, we have the energy and the spirit of a big school, but all of the benefits of a small one. You'll see on the screen all the different sports that are listed. Um, and, you know, basketball is huge here. That's our, that's our biggest sport. But I will say I am so impressed at the number of students that turn out to support their friends and all the different um, sporting events on campus. It's really nice because our athletic fields are right behind the dorm room. So you guys really don't have to walk very far to go cheer on your friends. But I went to my first rugby game last fall and I, I was blown away by the number of kids they're cheering on their friends. So it's a really fun school if you're interested in athletics. Like I said, the energy here is incredible. You get free tickets to all sporting events. So um, when wintertime hits and basketball season's starting, that is where you're gonna find a lot of the campuses on the basketball court. So I hope at this point we've sold you. I'm gonna talk a little bit about admissions. So at St. Bonaventure, we're rolling admissions. That means that there's no deadlines for you to apply. Unless, like I mentioned, you're applying for any of those pre-med programs. Once you apply, it usually takes about two to three weeks to hear back from us, sometimes sooner. The requirements include the application, of course, and you can fill that out on the Common App or on our website. Either way you choose to do it, it is free. There is no application fee, so you don't have to worry about submitting any fee waivers. Um, then we will need your transcripts from your high school, one essay, and then one letter of recommendation is all that we require. If you have more letters of recommendation, you are certainly welcome to submit them, but you also do not have to. 
And then SAT or ACT scores. We are test optional, so you do not have to send in test scores if you don't want. I recommend taking it if you get the chance. I know we are in a time where a lot of students can't take the test, so don't stress out about it. You can always reach out to myself or Anna, who would be your admissions counselor, and we can help work you through any questions you might have regarding the SAT or ACT. When looking at your transcripts, we will look at the weighted average, and we will also take any AP credits you have, IB credits, or any college level credits that you have gotten in high school. This is a quick student profile, an overview of the average student here at St. Bonaventure. So the average GPA is around an 89%, also a 3.3. The average ACT score is 23, average SAT score is 1125. I mentioned the test optional policy already and the total enrollment already. We have 25% of our students coming from outside of New York State and 24 different foreign countries represented on campus. All right, now to talk a little bit about scholarships. So our merit scholarships are our biggest scholarships here on campus. You will see that they can range from $9,000 all the way up to 25. This year for seniors, we, as test optional, we are going to be looking at the rigor of the courses that you've taken throughout high school and your GPA. So that way you're still eligible for those higher scholarships. <clears throat> um, and then of course, we also take any other scholarships that you might get outside of St. Bonaventure, whether it's through your community or through your high school. And we do on our website have a few other need-based grants that you can apply for. And I think those depend on the major. So I know there's a business scholarship and there's an education scholarship, but again, those are all listed on our website. I do want to mention also, we have a visit incentive scholarship. So if you guys do visit campus before December 1st and apply before December 1st, you will get an additional $500 a year. All right, lastly, financial aid. I know, again, as a senior, this was something that went in one ear and out the other. So hopefully I can explain this in a way that makes sense. Um, I wanna talk a little bit about sticker price versus net cost. So when you look at school A and school B, the sticker price is quite alarming. You think, you know, school B, no thank you, can't afford 45,000, where school A, 23, is a lot more doable. Now school A, let's pretend school A is those state schools or those public schools, and school B is those private schools. So for me, when I was a senior, I completely ignored private schools. I, I thought they were too expensive, um, something that I couldn't afford, but that's quite the opposite. So if you look at school A, you'll see that their financial aid package is only $6,000. Public schools aren't able to be as flexible sometimes when it comes to awarding financial aid. So they end up only offering, like I said, that $6,000, leaving the net cost around 17,000. Where school B, they can offer quite a bit more in financial aid and scholarships, leaving our financial aid package around 31,000 or any other private school for that matter. So in the end, school B's net cost is a lot cheaper than school A or that public school that you might be looking at. So keep that in mind. Private schools can be very flexible when it comes to awarding aid. So don't hesitate to reach out to your admissions counselors and let them know when you get your financial aid packages, hey, this might be something my family can't afford. We will try to work with you as best as we can to make it something you can afford, especially if your heart is set on coming here. So with that, 96% of our students receive some, some type of financial assistance. And our average financial aid package ends up being around $31,600, leaving the average cost to come to St. Bonaventure in the end around $15,900. Of course, there's federal aid and state aid that you could qualify for. Again, those outside or private scholarships that you can apply for. There's work study that you might be eligible for. And on your financial aid package from Bonaventure, we're also going to include loans that you can take. Um, for seniors out there, the FAFSA did open October 1st, so fill that out as soon as possible. I recommend it whether you think you're going to be eligible for aid or not. It'll definitely help us in awarding scholarships, and you can always check out our net price calculator online there. Um, the link is on the bottom right hand of the screen. I also want to mention, too, when it comes to scholarships, that was, again, something <laughs> I did not take the time to do, and I, I really wish I would have. You know, filling out those scholarship applications and writing essays for them might seem like a tedious process, especially if it takes you about an hour to do so. But think in the end for that hour of work that you put in, you might get awarded hundreds of dollars, thousands of dollars. And there's not a lot of part-time jobs out there that offer that much pay for an hour of work. And heck, if there is, I will quit this job right now and go apply for that part-time job. So definitely take the time to you know, apply for those scholarships because any little bit helps in the end. 
With that, I am finished up on the screen. You will see all of our social media handles. Highly recommend following every college you're interested in attending on social media. It's a great way to see what alum are doing, what our current students are doing. You know, we post about our visit opportunities on there. So definitely check out social media for all those colleges that you're looking at. I will mention too, we are open for visitors. I know New York State has a, has a bit of a restriction on travel. So Ohio residents can't come into New York State, but we do update that. Our governor changes that every Tuesday. So keep an eye out if Ohio comes off the list. We'd love to have you guys on campus. We're doing Monday through Friday personal tours and Saturday visits as well. Again, check out that travel advisory um, posted online from our governor, but we would love to have you on campus as soon as those restrictions are lifted. Hopefully, hopefully that's soon. Um, you will find the general admissions line on there. You can always email us or call us with any questions that you might have. And with that, I will stop sharing my screen. Does anyone out there have questions? It doesn't look like it. So what I'll do is I'll turn it back to the OACAC facilitator to wrap things up. Yes, thank you. On behalf of OACAC, thank you so much for your time, Katie. We greatly appreciate it. Thank um, you. You will see a quick survey pop up uh, if you were watching this live and make sure to sign up for more sessions at OACAC.org, learn about all the institutions that are out there um, and view this recording on OACAC.org. Uh, it should be posted typically in the next week. Thank you, everyone. Have a great day.